Hey guys, what's up? This is Will here, and uh, today I have a tutorial on how to uh, shorten your YouTube upload time. This, is, this isn't just for YouTube, you can use this for Twitvid or any other upload uh, website. So, um, we're going to use a compression method here, and um, when people hear compression, they, they normally think of losing quality. Um, but in this method, you do not lose any quality at all, however, it will... Um, it will it will rapidly uh, decrease your file size. In other words, it will upload a lot faster. Uh, so the program we're going to use to do this is called Handbrake, and this is a very popular application. Uh, I think this is only available for Mac. So um, once we've opened Handbrake, we need to locate the video that we have just edited. So it needs to be fully rendered and edited, and we need to locate the video. So let's go and select this one here, um, MacApps.demo.mov. And let's just click open. It will take a minute to open the video you guys see up there. And uh, we have all the information up here. How, however, the option we're going to concentrate on here is the target size. Uh, so let's go ahead and check this here. And here we need to enter uh, the size in, in megabyte, uh, what we want the final uh, rendered video to be so it's ready to upload. So if we just go ahead and right click on this video and see uh, the size of this video, uh, you can see it's 117 megabyte. And um, I think I did already compress this, but um, 117 megabyte that still takes a while to upload, especially if you're in the UK. And uh, so, so let's go ahead and compress this to 20 megabyte here. And um, you'll see that we will not lose any quality at all. It will be exactly the same. However, it's going to be five times to upload, and it's also five times uh, of the original file size. So just click start here, and it's going to start the uh, it's going to start the compression. Let's just overwrite that there. And you can see it's going to automatically start compressing this. You'll see a status bar at the bottom of the program. So I'll come back after it's finished compressing. Okay, so you can see once the compression has finished, it'll say oh, your handbrake queue is done. Just click OK, and then you can go ahead and exit handbrake. And uh, you'll see that we have the, uh, the video here that's just being compressed. You can see it's an MP4 format as well. It uh, won't make too much difference, you know, most upload sites uh, will still support this format. And if we click on Get Info, you can see it's 22 megabytes, uh, as opposed to the 118 megabytes, I think it was, that the original file was. So, uh, just by doing this method, you have to take at least taken off 40 minutes off the upload time, uh, just from doing that. And you'll see that none of the video quality is lost if we just go and do this, and bring the original version beside it. Uh, then you'll see the none of the video quality is lost if we just do this. Hey guys, what's up? So you guys see the quality is exactly the same. Sorry about the sound there. Um, you know, there's literally no difference in terms of quality or pixels or resolution or sound. Uh, it's exactly the same, and just from doing that method, you have lost at least 40 or 50 minutes off your upload time. So, anyway, guys, that's a quick tutorial on how to shorten the upload time uh, on any video, basically. Not only does it work for upload time, it's also going to work for transferring files. If you have, a, you know, a couple of uh, machines and you want to transfer videos or a large amount of videos uh, between them, then this will help as well. So, thanks again for watching this video. I'm getting back into my, uh, you know, review routine at the moment. I do apologise for the lack of videos. I'll be getting them out a lot more. I've got a lot of reviews uh, planned for you guys. So, thanks again for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter for exclusive updates and news. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.